Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see the views and URLs in Django. So let's open a code. And so here we'll run a project py manage dot py run server and hit enter and open your browser and in the address of localhost colon 8000, you'll get your output. Oops, let's see. Okay, so it's served now. Okay, so this is the home page that Django gives by default. So in the previous video, we had added this this URL which I had commented for now. So now I'll just open it. And now you have to call that URL. So we call test, hit enter. And you can see, okay, yes. So we had sent this HTTP response as the output in the previous video. So in this video, we're going to see how to render HTML pages here and how to create URLs for particular sections. So here in Django, you create an application. This is your main project. Inside the project, you have various applications. So we'll be using only single application. Once your project is bigger, that time we require multiple applications. So now what we have to do is we'll create a new application here. So let's stop this and we'll give the command to create a new application. So it is py manage dot py start app and your app name. So we'll keep it as accounts for now. Accounts and hit enter. So you'll get application created in this below this blog. So it will be in the main directory. So you can see you got your application as accounts. So once you created a new application, you have to register it in the settings.py file. So here you can see you have the installed apps. So here hit enter and within single quotes, just add the app name. So our app name was accounts. Okay. And just put this comma here. So let's save it and close this file. So now what we have to do is open this accounts and here you will not have any URLs file by default. We have to create one. So I'll give here new file and type urls.py hit enter and now just open this URLs which we had already in the blog URLs and we'll just copy this and you can remove this function this was just for testing that time so let us remove it and remove this path also so now just copy and paste it here okay so oops, I just copied it by mistake and now what you have to do is you have to include this file here this urls.py of the account application you have to include it here so first what we have to do is we have to just include it here in django.urls where we have imported path import include so when you import it you can just add a new path over here saying path within single quotes comma include function so where is the directory we have to tell it in accounts application in the accounts app dot urls so you can see we have linked it here so now just save it and without forgetting this comma add it here save and now we'll go here and create a new path so whatever we are going to create the views that is the html pages that will be in a folder here i'll just show you so we're in once you're in accounts just create a new folder called templates make sure you spell it right t e m p l a t e s because django will by default look for a folder called templates and inside the templates folder create a new folder called accounts itself so the application name will be the same inside the templates folder so this looks a little confusing so i'll create one more folder here this is just dummy okay so this is for the alignment I just created here. So you can see the structure that is the accounts. That is the app name inside that there is a templates folder inside the templates folder. Again, the same name you have to repeat. It looks little redundant, but that's the structure inside this. You can create a file. So let's keep index dot HTML hit enter. And now we'll see we get HTML five. Okay, so this gives a basic structure and we'll write here h1 
hello subscribe save and we'll change the title to Django so it's save now when this is the URLs inside our accounts folder so now we don't have to do anything with the project the main projects URL file once you have linked it you can just close that so we have closed it now here you have to you can remove this HTTP response you're not using it so here we create a new path path and within single quotes give let's give home comma so where we are going to create everything all that uh, views will be inside the views file here so you have views here so we'll be creating a function over there so first we'll def uh, we'll call it here views file dot we'll create all the function name as home and we'll give a name to this url name equals as home itself so here don't forget this slash or you'll get an error and comma okay so copy this function name copy and here just give define home and pass in the request here request colon here you give return okay return and render you have already imported the render over here so now inside this just first pass in the request comma and your file name so our file name is inside the accounts folder just it's the index dot html here you have to give the path which is inside the templates folder it will look for the templates folder inside that we have an accounts folder that we have mentioned here and under that it's index dot html okay so now let us go to this index dot html that is here and we have given this here so now in this urls dot py this shows an error because we have not included it so what we have to do is from dot import views okay so with this statement you are importing all the views file here okay so we have imported and now when we call this url home that will go to the views file and home function that we have written here home it will come and render this html page so let us go and call our home url here home hit enter oops there is some error no we haven't run the server here so you have to run it that is py run server okay so we'll wait for the server to start so here our server is started so now let us go you can see hello subscribe so this is in the h1 tag that's why it is so bold so we have seen in this video how to create a view and how to send the html file how to render it and we have seen how to create the urls inside our application so now here you can create different urls like about us page or anything and call the views file dot function name inside that you can return either http response or the file and in the further videos we'll also see how to send the data from the views file and that's it in this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching once again